Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what's in our autumnal celebration basket. Now I love to make these baskets as a way of celebrating the turn of the seasons and welcoming in a new one. Now we are actually in mid-September as I'm filming this video and it's actually the equinox so happy equinox and today is the day that I'm going to be giving my basket to my children but you could really use this as a rainy day activity, you could pull this out on a rainy gloomy day or if you just need to cheer the kids up or if there's a special day that you want to celebrate in autumn, this is a great time to pull it out and use it as a kind of um, fun activity, busy kit in a way. What I tend to do is I choose things which we need for crafts. So in this basket, you'll see there's a lot of items which are actually for crafting. This is really useful for me because it means I bundle them together and I, I know then what crafts we're hopefully going to do over the coming weeks. Um, there's a couple of books to read and a candle and things like that but I will go through it properly now. You can really do anything you want in these celebration baskets, but it is a really lovely way of just making the seasons really special. So I highly recommend them as an idea. You certainly don't have to buy anything for these baskets. If you just have a route around your house, you're sure to find cookie cutters, crafting items, and little seasonal figures and books if you just have a look. So um, get creative with it, go to your local charity shop, see what you can find, um, and then if you wanted to add to a certain collection, this would be a great time as well. So without further ado, let me show you what's in our basket. So I'm gonna work backwards. I'm gonna start with just the first thing that's in here, and that is some Play-Doh. Now this is Play-Doh I already have, I've just picked out a seasonal colour from our big selection. This is a sparkly orange gluten-free one by the brand Sess Creative, which I love, SES. And this is a lovely one for making pumpkins with. So what I've done is I've included a pumpkin cookie, cookie cutter, and I just found this on Amazon very cheaply. And this will be a great activity, just these two together and perhaps some cloves um, from the spice rack to make some eyes. Um, and this will keep my toddler entertained for ages with a little rolling pin. So things like this are great. You can create, create your own Play-Doh kits really easily. And I also have a leaf cookie cutter. And we'll definitely be using this for making cookies and biscuits. But also it teams up really well with the orange Play-Doh and also we've got red Play-Doh and yellow Play-Doh and we could do some really great fun leaf Play-Doh activities with that. So next up in the leaf theme are these wonderful wooden leaf um, tags I suppose you could call them. They're made of wood and they're in different shapes. They're quite thin, they're very very light and they've got a hole at the top. So these are brilliant for painting and what we're going to do this year is hang them on our wooden garland that we hang up in one of our main windows in the house. And um, There's just enough in this packet to do a really good garland for us. So this is something that both boys will do together and then we will hang up those leaves in celebration of autumn on our garland. So to go along with this beautiful garland that I'm planning for our sitting room, I also picked up a treat item, which is this beautiful wooden maple leaf, I think it is. And it has this crystal in the center, which is really beautiful and shiny. And the idea with this is that we're gonna hang this up in the center of our garland. And because it's by the window, it's gonna catch the light and spread the rainbows all over the room. I thought this was gonna be such a lovely touch to our autumnal decorations. Um, I picked this up off Myriad Toys. It was, I mean, it was a little bit of an investment, but really not too, too much at all. And we'll definitely be using this every year as part of our autumnal decorations. Another couple of crafting items I have in our basket are these wooden tags. So quite similar to the leaves, they're just thin slices of wood with a hole in the, in the top. So you can paint these and hang these up. Again, these would be great as part of a garland or you could have a, about six of them and make it a mobile. You could even make little um, necklaces. There's so many fun craft ideas with these. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with these yet. We might make necklaces um, and the boys can uh, draw on them and paint on them, glue things on them. So again, really nice um, craft items to have in an autumnal basket. Now, we love to use our seasonal baskets as a way of collecting favorite items. And this year, I've actually just reused items that I already had in the house. So I've got two little ambrosius felt figures. I've got a mushroom girl with gorgeous red hair and a little hazelnut fairy. These get played with a lot. Um, my kids love these little people. They're so cute. 
and even though you're not meant to play with them they do withstand a quite a bit of um, use which is great um, so these two guys are coming out again for autumn and my children will be so happy and in a similar thread I also love the Holtz Tiger wooden figures and we do collect those and I bought out two gorgeous little seasonal ones there's a little red squirrel and a sweet little hedgehog and we're going to be talking a lot about things like squirrels and hedgehogs and hibernation in the coming weeks so these figures will be great as part of storytelling free play um, and just for our seasonal table as well so very sweet additions new for us this year are these wonderful badges by the brand paw print family now this is a uk based business and what they do is they provide these really fun activity badges there's hundreds to choose from and there's seasonal ones there's ones based around favorite children's figures like this room on the broom one and what they do is they also have a challenge pack or activity pack that goes along with each badge that you can download online for free and what they do is they have lots of different activity ideas and the idea is that your child does these activities and at the end they win a badge i thought this was such a good idea and i was i got an l one um, i got a halloween one so i got a few different badges to take us through autumn but I've included this one in our box because both my children love Room on the Broom and for them it'll be a real treat to do the Room on the Broom challenge. So I've included our badge and, and we can sew that onto a cushion or onto a jumper or wherever we want to put it once the challenge is complete. So I'll link Paw Print Family below. It's a great resource. Not sure if they ship elsewhere, um, just outside of the UK, but I will link them below just in case they do because um, they're a great company and I just love the idea of all these badges and if you are a homeschooling family these badges are great because they have wildlife ones, um, hikes, all sorts of things, really endless possibilities for doing these sort of scout style badge challenges. challenges. Of course it wouldn't be um, a celebration without a figure for our Grimm's celebration ring. I've used this now since Rupert was very very small so we've had it for probably about I guess five, five and a half years or so. And the one that I thought we would include for our ring this year is a little owl. So he's just set in our little circle. It's a wooden, I don't think I've got it up here. No, it's a little wooden circle. And these figures slot in, and we always use it. It's usually out on the side or on the table. And we didn't have an owl, so I've included him this year. Another craft item that I've got in my little um, trug. This is just a kid style trug from Bergen and Ball. Are these really sweet wooden um, fairy or pixie doors? So, hopefully, you can see that there. They're just really thin wood, laser cut, and there's different shapes there. And these are really great fun to colour in, and you could place them around your house or you could place them outside for a fairy or pixie. Thought this was great for autumn and Halloween time, and a very nice, easy craft for both my children to achieve. You can paint these with paints. Acrylic paints would work well if you want to put them outside. Paint sticks, crayons, markers, anything really, and they do work really well. So a cute addition. Of course, it wouldn't be autumn without a candle or two. So I have got our beautiful beeswax candles. These are pure beeswax, they smell incredible. And these are from uh, Myriad Toys. I also will be including our modeling beeswax along with this. This stuff is fantastic for decorating candles. And what you get in the packet are these thin strips of wax. I'll try and show you it. one of them here. So they're super thin and bendy. And what you can do is you can create circles or shapes and you can stick them onto your candle and create patterns. So much fun. So uh, my children will definitely be doing that this um, autumn. So I will, be, oops, I will be including the wax and the candles. I've got two candles actually, one for each child and the uh, Stockmar beeswax to decorate the candles with. So that's an, always a lovely thing to do at this time of year when the mornings are darker and the evenings come on so much faster is to have lots of candle light because it just sets such a beautiful tone. So we'll really enjoy doing that. Then I've got some felt balls, just some sort of small, I think you could say they're about two centimeters um, in diameter. And these lovely little wool felt balls, I actually got as part of a kit and I haven't used them yet, 
But the idea with these is that they fit perfectly into an acorn shell. So I thought I would include these in our basket and what we'll do is we'll go for a walk and see if we can find some acorn shells and then make our own little sweet felt acorn. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I think it'll be a really fun craft. Um, and the balls are actually really fun to play with just as they are as well. So here at the farm we actually run a Halloween event and as part of that we do have quite a few kids crafts that are sort of seasonal and Halloween-y. So I have actually grabbed these masks from our <laughs> farm to use for my kids baskets but these are our masks that we're also using for our event but I just thought this was such a fun and easy kids craft. So these are just simple cardboard um, masks and they have on one side they have got a slight pattern so you can color in if that way if you want and the other side is plain and then your kids can wear them and dress up and it also comes with the elastics which is really handy so we've got a beautiful baby deer and a hedgehog so these are going to go down such a treat with my children they love dressing up more than anything um, and I know that they will enjoy doing this so much and they will get so much fun out of playing with these masks. So a great one to include in an autumn basket with Halloween coming up. This would be a great way of participating in a bit of fun Halloween dress up without too much cost um, and just tons and tons of fun and creativity. Of course it wouldn't be a seasonal basket without some books and here are two that work for different age groups. The first one is Gerda Muller's Autumn, and we've had this for a while, and I've actually had to repurchase it this year because it's the original has fallen apart. What I love about these books is they have um, really beautiful, intricate illustrations on the seasons with no words, so you can do lots of describing, lots of storytelling with these books. Um, and the Autumn one is actually one of our favourites, which is why I repurchased it. Um, so a lovely one for babies up to toddlers, really. Um, and young children. Really gorgeous as well on a seasonal display. You can pop this book up and then you can put you know, some of your hedgehogs and things like that in front of it and it looks really cute. This is great for slightly older kids. It's What to Look For in Autumn and this is one of those classic ladybird books. Um, so it has things like Woodland Games, so talking about Conkers, Battle of the Red Deer, lighting up the skies and there's tons of information in this book life on the coast um, and it goes through all the different things you're going to find in nature at this time of year um, back to school loads of things and the illustrations are great in this as well um, funny fact for you i have actually folded over a page here because i'm so scared of spiders and i'm pretty sure if i unfold this it's a spider page that i have I have hidden from myself, which is incredibly sad. It is. Oh, I can't bear it. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave it folded. Oh, I'm so sad, but I hate spiders. Um, so unfortunately, spiders are something that we can look for in autumn, but I've hidden that page from myself. But the children would no doubt have fun unfolding that one and scaring me later. So um, this is great if you've got slightly older kids who are really interested in facts and learning. This is a beautiful one. And then for the younger crowd, definitely Gerda Muller's Autumn. Of course, you've got to have silks in a basket. Well, you don't have to, but they are great fun. So we use these silks as play silks. You can do peekaboo with young kids with them. They're lovely and soft. You can wrap up dolls. You can create little dens and homes for your woodland animals. They also work beautifully if you lay them down flat. You can create gorgeous seasonal um, displays and nature tables, which is what we do a lot of the time. Uh, you can get beautiful ones from Myriad Toys, Conscious Craft and places like that. Sarah's silks are wonderful. This one I think is the brand Phil Filigrees or something, um, which is lovely. These are all 100% silk. You can get cheaper versions on Amazon, um, but they're not very nice. This is an example of one. They do rip very easily and they're just organza, um, sort of polyester organza. But, you know, in a pinch you could still use those to bulk up your basket. And actually I've just found another little thing hiding in my basket and it's this sweet felt hedgehog. Um, I can't remember the brand but I will link it below. Again I got this off Myriad but you can make this so easily yourself. It's just a tiny little hedgehog figure with sweet bead eyes and his little bristles and this will just be really fun especially for my youngest who loves tiny things. 
And last year I actually made my kids um, a little felt pouch for them to carry things around in with a mushroom on top. Um, so you can check that out in my last video for autumn but he will fit really well inside so i think they will love playing with that so i am actually missing one item from this basket and i cannot find it but i did want to show you and it's um a face painting kit by the brand dianco i think it is um i'll link it below but it's fantastic so um at this time of year once autumn gets going and there's lots of talk of halloween and dress up Face paints are really good fun to have for toddlers and children. My children just can't get enough of face paints. Almost every day they get face painted because they want to be a cat or a dragon or a dinosaur or something like that. Um, and the Dianco or Janko brand have some really good colours in their palettes. Um, we have one which has like orange and blue and yellow, I think, black. But I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll link them below. Um, and I did actually buy it initially with the idea of it going into a stocking. And then I, I was like, oh, actually, I'll put it in our seasonal basket. But then I ended up using it earlier because I just get so many requests for animals on their faces. And up to this point, I was mainly using my own makeup, so eyeliner and things like that, which wasn't ideal. So now they've got their own face painting kit and it's a huge hit. So if you are looking for a really great idea for a stocking stuffer, or for your seasonal basket, I highly recommend a small face painting kit. You can find most good brands on places like, um, like I say, Myriad Toys or Conscious Craft. Um, Bella Luna Toys in the US is amazing. And they will all have like good eco brands or face paint. Um, in Ireland, Jiminy.ie is really good. Um, I love them. I'm pretty sure they have face paints that are eco-conscious as well. Um, I'm just trying to have a quick think. I mean, you could probably go on Amazon as well and get some like Janko or, or um, the one that I was using. I found it in just a local shop, but um, I will try and link as many things as I can below so you can find them easily. So that's it. Oh no, I do have one more thing. I was about to say that's it, but I've just come across another item. So this is a new purchase for us and it was so cheap. I couldn't resist it and I just popped it in the basket, but it's all in German. So I have no idea what it says. Sounds like it's Blatt Salat, but it's a little mosaic game, I think. Um, so it has nine cards in it, and oh, it has got a little bit of English in it, so let's read this out. What a mess, the winter swelled the leaves of the trees. Some leaves are found on the nine cards, beech, rowan, oak, and chestnut, but no complete leaf is found on just one card. Try to arrange the cards to a three times three square and the leaves should fit beach to beach, row to row, and oak to oak, chestnut to chestnut. Patience, trial and error, as well as logic will lead to success. So the idea behind this is that you are going to match up the cards and create your little mosaic, but you have to figure out where they go because obviously they're not all going to match up. So even if I felt like even if my children got this wrong, it would be really fun because you'll be creating like this fun um, collage of leaves and also we can have fun trying to match them up um, and yeah I can see myself having tons of fun with this. Like I said it contains nine cards, um, all these beautiful autumnal leaves on them and I think this was about three pounds so it was really cheap and I got this on Myriad Toys as well. So that's it. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and let me know what you put in your seasonal basket if you've created one this autumn. Like I said before, you absolutely do not have to buy anything. Just be creative and see what you've got around the house. And if you're feeling a bit stuck, think about things that you want to craft with your children this autumn and go from there because it's a great way, like I said before, of collecting all the items that you'll want to be using anyway, like colored Play-Doh or paints or stampers, cookie cutters, all that kind of thing. Pop it in and it's a great way of being like, this is what we're gonna make, what do you wanna make today? And um, really good fun and I highly recommend it. So have a beautiful autumn, everybody. I hope it really is a lovely one for you and you feel all cozy and seasonal and I hope these baskets help you get going on your autumnal journey. So thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.